This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. President Kumar Tunga, thank you for talking to us on the Talking Heads program. Now, in the past 48 hours, the military claims to be making serious advances for the first time. Given this slight shift in the scenario as described by the military, will you now completely rule out a troop withdrawal or a troop evacuation? It doesn't seem necessary at all uh, to evacuate troops. And uh, as you say, uh, a little more than 48 hours ago, uh, the Sri Lankan government forces uh, seem to be taking the upper hand. And the shift is because of the fact that new military equipment, the new military supplies that you've ordered are reaching, the, uh, are reaching soldiers. That is one of the reasons, fresh supplies of new types of equipment, uh, which uh, we have had to purchase hurriedly because of the uh, recent attacks by the LTT right in the peninsula, or on the peninsula rather. Um, and also perhaps a better organization of the troops and uh, uh, the way they are. It appears now that for the first time, the Sri Lankan army isn't waiting for it to be attacked. For the first time, we're actually seeing the Sri Lankan army counter attack. So is this now a conscious shift in strategy? In 1995, after the ATT uh, broke the ceasefire and violated all the peace uh, process that uh, the government had started uh, with, you know, having invited the LTT for talks, we were compelled into the war in 95. Uh, uh, the government troops were on the offensive. Right. And uh, we, uh, the LTT was in complete control of the entire uh, northern province right. of Sri Lanka, including the Jaffna Peninsula. Right and the Jaffra city, which of course is considered the capital of the north. Uh, the troops uh, had a very heavy offensive, uh, moved into, and they took over the entire peninsula. But since December, since the LTT began its operation, ah, yes, yes. this is one of the first times that we're actually seeing the Sri Lankan army on the offensive. Is that since correct? December, yes. yes. President, is it correct to say, you are talking here of better planning, is it correct to say that since the LTT began its attacks in December, the army slipped up a little, it wasn't fully prepared, and there was room for better planning and for better strategization? I would say that we had a lot of successes, at the military successes at the beginning. Mm. As I said, the taking over of the whole of the Jaffna Peninsula, and thereafter uh, the large, a large portion of the rest of the northern province. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two or three years after the war began in 95, again under our government, uh, it had already gone on for 11 years under the last government, of course. Uh, the last two years before December 99, uh, I would say it would have been better if we had a proper, uh, more efficient overall uh, military strategy. Mm -hmm. That uh, was not uh, perhaps sufficiently uh, planned out and, so, and not efficient enough. We had temporary strategies of each operation, but the overall military strategy when you're fighting a war like this, which has been dragging on for so long, yeah. against a very efficient, ruthless, and well-organized uh, mm -hmm. uh, terrorist group that is using uh, guerrilla tactics. Right. Um, one would have had to have a more complete, comprehensive overall strategy. Right. Not only using arms, but the rest of it, you know, the disinformation campaign of the LTT, mm -hmm. the our military purchases, the supplies, the, all that. Right. So the more funding more campaign. A comprehensive approach. President, shifting uh, more to the, the, the level of... And the lack yeah. of such a comprehensive strategy, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. uh, meant that after some time, the soldiers uh, were getting battle fatigue. Mm -hmm. You know, when you stay, when you hang around without much successes right. uh, and not much training, because there were times that uh, new recruits were sent into the battlefield uh, with uh, little training. Right. And training is crucial in this uh, in this uh, kind of uh, situation. Right. So that meant that the commitment was less because. The, 
the training wasn't enough. Uh, they get better weary, therefore. You're saying now that the new strategy will be for the army to move forward. Certainly. President Kumar Tunga, to shift the, 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 the focus slightly to the whole question of talks. Now, the LTT is on one hand saying that they will only talk once you create the conditions such as withdrawing your troops, and you now completely rule that out. So what really are these negotiations that we're seeing between you, the Norwegians, uh, the Norwegians talking to India, perhaps even to the LTT? What really are these negotiations about? Well, we have clearly, we have had a very clear policy on this. Uh, within 10 days of coming into power originally, in 1994, I wrote to the leader of the LTT, which most other governments would not have done because we were a legally elected government. Uh, with a vast majority in parliament and in the presidential elections, and they were a group of terrorists uh, who were not even as strong as they are now. Uh, but, well, that also is, you have to qualify that because they had the whole of the North under them at yeah. that time, under the last government. Mm -hmm. But I wrote to them, I didn't st uh, sit, stand on protocol inviting the LTT for talks. And right from, and we had talks for eight months, a ceasefire for four months. We gave everything they asked for. They did not give one inch of anything at all. Um, and right from that time, we have had a very clear policy on the ethnic resolution of the ethnic conflict and the ending of the war. Very briefly, it is that we do not want the war. We do, do not want to kill young lives, whether they be Sinhalese or Tamil or whatever. Uh, we believe that in any case, a war is not the final solution to political problems such as these, to human problems. That finally, in any case, a negotiated political settlement would have to come. So right from the beginning, we uh, suggested that. And what we told the LTT then, and what we are telling them now, is uh, that we are willing to talk. Even now, even after the LTT tried to kill me, and in the last six years, it has killed hundreds of innocent civilians, Sinhalese and Tamils, who they are supposed to be liberating. Uh, the policy being that we are willing to talk unconditionally. We are not asking for them to lay down arms, like the British government, for example, is asking the IRA, because we don't think it's very practical and feasible. Uh, but of course, there will have to be a cessation of hostilities and both sides can freeze their positions wherever they are. No withdrawals. Right. But some sort of a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. And uh, begin to talk. The only condition we have put this time, because we learned a very good lesson last time, and we noticed that they did the same things uh, with the last government whenever they, were, uh, they talked. They just keep dragging it on and on, because they don't come into any talks mm -hmm. at all, sincerely or honestly until they can build up again to come back and uh, start another military campaign. Um, so this time, the one condition I have put to them is that we, it has to be a limited time frame, which both parties can agree to, right. whether it be three months, six months, or whatever. And that's about all. There are no other conditions. And of course, uh, uh, a cessation of hostilities, freezing in positions that they are at present, and then talk. I mean, we cannot withdraw the troops. Why should we withdraw the troops? Just because we are asked by the LTT. Exactly. But, uh, but we can ask the LTT to withdraw then, before we start talking. Mm.